Yeah. I'm gonna need some water for this one. I can't lie to y'all. I've spoken in the past on my channel about how like whenever rappers pass away, it's like their name gets used like to the utmost. Like it's like a well and they just they keep reaching for the water, you know, with the bucket. And then eventually, you know, the well runs out. Unfortunately, you've got some cases like X where uh, there just seems to be a lot of water in that well because man, I... there's no respectful way. There's no respectful way to do this video. I, I'm gonna try my best. Uh, if it seems like I'm making jokes, I'm not. You know, they're just, they're, they're finding ways to get money out of this man almost every year, at least once they find a way to get some money out of this guy. In a sense, I get it. It's an infinite money glitch. But on the other hand, you've got people that were like extremely close to this man. Um, and it's just like, you wouldn't expect them to do these things. Now, it's almost confusing until you look at the simple fact that like, it's just numbers. That's all it is. It's, it's literally just numbers. This man was global. Like if you go to the comments of like the new EP that he just dropped up, uh, uh, that they dropped, you'll see languages that you didn't even know existed. Like this man was just everywhere. So anytime something gets released with this man's name on it, it's going to do phenomenal. Like every single time. I'm making this video because yet again, we've got another situation. Uh, it's not a situation, but oh my God. Another EP has dropped from X, the It Wasn't Enough EP, the one that was already out on SoundCloud for seven years at this point. Before I get into all my issues with this, I just wanna say the project itself is beautiful, just like how it was back in 2016, the first time it released. You know, I, I understand it. I don't have a disdain for the fact that they're putting it on all platforms because, you know, for a while, this EP was only available on, uh, on SoundCloud, from what I remember, and people wanted it on all platforms because if you guys remember, you know, in this video that I made, SoundCloud isn't really used by the mainstream public uh, uh, a lot, like millions of people obviously use SoundCloud, but a lot, a lot more people use Spotify. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, now they did drop this EP on like most platforms that you can, anything audible, like it's there. You know, it, it's cool, but like, why? Why now? Why now? Hmm? Uh, I'm not actually asking you why. Uh, we, we all know why. If this project is on all platforms, uh, officially released yet again, they get money uh a lot of money of course you can look at it like oh well they were doing it for the fans but like y'all could have did it for the fans like you know five years ago <laughs> i overanalyze everything so that's just how i'm going to look at it i apologize this video really might be yap city i, I won't lie to you i'm going to yap uh to the utmost i'm sorry because i have a lot to say about this okay so just sit back and I'm, I'm gonna explain everything I really don't fucking like about this. Do I really need to explain why like this is so dark? Because it's like, you know, I could look at it like the cup half full perspective and you know, just go like, oh, well, you know, they just don't want his name to die off. But it's like, this man was generational, bro. His name will never die off. Every like rap event you go to, they're gonna play Look At Me in the DJ set at least one time, bro. They don't let his name die off. We have not let his name die off. And the reason it won't die off is because somehow they won't let this man rest <laughs> at all. You know, it's like people are never going to forget about this man because of what they continue to do each and every single year with this man's, uh, um, legacy uh, if you could say me personally i just feel like the respect is not there when it comes to um his legacy i kind of got into it in a different video i did but i, I think i'm actually going to get into it right here uh and i don't think they're disrespecting his legacy as in like you know they're going and spitting on his great uh i mean his mausoleum i don't know how to explain it because i would expect this from the label that i would expect it's just a bunch of evil suits i get that but i oh there's no way to say this. Right now, I'm talking about his damn... Don't you say it. You better not say it. You better not say it. You better not say uh, it. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't say it. I won't say it. I won't say it. But y'all know who I'm talking about, bro. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Every time I see something that has to do with X that's uh, releasing or coming out or whatever, I go to the comments and I just see the most funny... 
rude stuff like about his mother. Uh, you know, Cleo never broke again. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not laughing at that. Just how, you know, they accuse her of, you know, milking this man's, uh, her own son. That's not funny. I, I mean, y'all gotta stop coming for this man's mom, bro. Cause it's like, is she really behind every single thing? We don't know that, you know, there's still a label behind it as well. I, I think people, people forget that, you know, they, they be saying stuff like her rent is due. And I'm just like, damn, bro, y'all got to chill out with that. I'm not sitting here saying she's not guilty of anything. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm really just trying to save face. Y'all know when it comes to the more sensitive, touchy videos, I'm going to dance a little bit more. She's not not guilty of anything. She's definitely not innocent in the whole situation. When this man passed away, he left his estate to his mother and his two brothers. Fifty million dollars. Holy shit. And that was back in 2018 uh, when he passed away. So after the projects and the other things they've made money off of, there's no telling how much they have now at this point. You know, I understand like since the day this project has come out, they've wanted this to be on all platforms. I get it. But at the same time, it's like if he wanted it on all platforms, I think two years later, he would have put it on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's just like when you go do things without somebody's consent, I, I just, I get a weird taste in my mouth, bro. I, do, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like because they're not here to really make a choice, it's weird. Especially when he's not getting no more money off that. Y'all are. So it's just kind of like you're going to have the fans who are going to say, oh, well, shut the f up, bro, because I love X and I'm going to support anything that's involved. With of course you are, Glazer. I mean, of course. And I don't have a problem with that. I just have a problem with the fact that there's millions of dollars being made off of this man when he's not here. If you really think about it, did he really want it on all platforms? Because he was alive for two years after it dropped and he was a part of a label. So so it's like I think eventually we can safely assume he would have he would have put it out there if he wanted to but he didn't so you know what I'm saying but you know five years later now they're like ah oh, well let's uh let, let's just let let's just put it let's just put it out now it's crazy because nobody's going to question it because everybody loves X well not everybody but a lot a lot millions of people love x so they're not going to question it they're not going to overanalyze it like how i am they just see his name on something and they eat it up they eat it the fuck up bro and the label gets money and his mother gets money i think that's what's the most unfortunate part is like they know they're going to make money regardless like re-releasing songs that have been out for years, putting it out there and making more money off of it, they know it's going to make them a large amount of money. It, it, I mean, it's an unpatchable glitch. It irritates me. Like, I'm not coming from a place of malice. Like, I really loved X, and I think, you know, if they want to, if that's their way of keeping his name alive, cool, but come on, bro. You know, that's not the only reason why y'all are doing that. There's people that aren't close to X that are making money off of the fact that it got re-released. A lot of people don't know that though. It's been five years at this point. There's probably only so much left that they can keep doing. I mean, it's like, how much more can y'all give out before you run out? Literally, the water in that well isn't infinite. Eventually, it's going to run out. Uh, a few years ago, actually, in 2020, X's mom got sued, I remember, on behalf of uh, one of the half-brothers of X, Corey Pack or something like that. Um, because apparently she stole, and I quote, let me, let me get this right. Let me get this right. What the lawsuit was about was the fact that she was accused of transferring $11 million to herself that was supposed to go to Corey. $11 million. Let me, let me read this verbatim so I don't mess anything up. In the court documents, a demand letter sent to Cleo, uh, ex's mom, her legal representative details that $11,585,000 $48.50 was unlawfully taken from Corey Pack. Now y'all remember when I said he left behind that 50 million, that money was supposed to be handled through a trust fund uh, <laughs> by his mother. The trust designates 50% ownership to X's company, Bad Vibes Forever LLC, which 
Cleo overseas. The document also notes that 25% of the trust goes to ex's brother Aiden Kerr, while the other 25% goes to Corey Pack. When $11 million goes missing out of this 50 million, right? That's a problem. Reading on, it says she was buying cars for her and her friends. Money changes people, bro. That's all I get from this is that money will literally destroy the y'all have heard it before money is the root of all evil literally it it changed it changed a lot of shit it did there's no better way to explain it bro it changed a lot of shit you never know how you're gonna behave when you get a large amount of money you'll never know until you get it but i just know me personally right I ain't going about it like that. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Long story short, man, I just really think that it's scummy. It's really scummy, bro, but I know it's very controversial for me to say that. I know I'm gonna get dislikes, send them my way. I don't give a f I still make money. Just know that I'm not a fan of how they're handling this man's legacy and they need to let him rest. That's all I gotta say. I'm out.